All right, boys, some Mutt news has come out. They've dropped a lot of info on Mutt. You know I'm more of a gameplay sweat. I know how to play the game. I need Mutt help. I need to watch this stuff. need to dial it in. Always need help from the YouTube comments, of course, which is opening myself up for a nightmare. And always need help from my Twitch chat. So let me just take a look at the Mutt news. I still have a CFM to finish up. If you guys have been following along, we're closing in on the playoffs. One last for the year. Still playing a couple Mutt. I have a couple more rookie premieres to get in the next couple days. So I'll keep putting those gameplay videos out as well. Are you guys excited for Madden 24? I know I am. Let's take a look at the Madden 24 Ultimate Team Deep Dive. Here we go. I looked at it briefly. You know, and, and you know, some things I like, some things we hate, and we'll talk about that for sure. If you guys like me talking about Madden, you can head over to my podcast. We do it every Tuesday night on the Twitch channel. I also have my own podcast, YouTube, where we talk about stuff like this. Most of the time with the guest as well. This week, I'm excited because we're going to have Problem, the GOAT of Madden, on the show. So I'll get to talk with him about all this stuff and Madden 24 launch and everything like that. Um, good morning, Madden stream. I don't really watch those. Maybe I should. Maybe I got to dial in for the most part, but you know. Anyway, man. All right. So Ultimate League for the most part. We're with Live Event Hub. There we go. Over the course of the year, Madden Ultimate Team puts out a lot of new players, programs, and challenges for new players. It can be a little difficult to know exactly where to go. So this was dope. The live event hub will filter the content only to show things that are relevant to the program. That way you can try to find, if you can see the entire, whatchamacallit, you can see the item catalog. You can see the cards, like all the Thanksgiving promo, what cards are you missing, what cards are out there. I know we use MuttGG. MuttGG is a, a friend to the program here. Uh, MuttGG is probably paramount as far as organizing cards and looking up cards and things like that. But now you can do it in the game. Look here, you got a couple owns. You need to go find that Kyle Hamilton, and you need to find that. I, I can't even see that name. But, you know, you got to find those guys because you already have Hurts and Sauce, and you got Minka, so you need to find the ones you don't have, you know. So that's pretty dope. Crossplay. I have been – I don't care about crossplay. I didn't. I hope it works great. It works good in every other game we have that I play, at least, between MLB. Worked fine this year. Or I think it was a couple of years MLB has been cross-play. It's worked pretty well. Uh, and obviously, Warzone, Apex, Fortnite, perfectly cross-play. Works great. So, it should work on Madden. You know, so I'm excited about it. Now, economy changes across the... Across the I mean, I, I didn't... Man, maybe I need to go to English class, but I didn't really understand this. As the gameplay experience continues to diverge between game generations, oh, it is no longer feasible to have a Madden Ultimate Team economy that is shared across console generations. Separating the economy will allow us to include new features like crossplay in the Madden Ultimate. So this means PS4 and PS5 Ultimate Team economy that is shared. So that's how it was. Like the, so like everybody was buying the same cards that were on PS4 and PS5. I don't know. This is pretty irrelevant for me. You know, I've been on Next Gen for like four years now. Let's get with the program, boys. But if you're not, you really haven't missed much unless you're playing in tournaments. If you're just playing Madden and you're having fun, you didn't need Next Gen. Who cares? You know, honestly, it's it's, it's honestly been underwhelming, these Next Gen consoles that during COVID we spent so much money on, you couldn't find them. And now we got them and it's like, meh. Are they that big an upgrade over last gen? Maybe. Let me know in the comments. Um, here we go. All over, 30, 84 overalls for rookie premieres. I'm telling you, that rookie premier team is going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty good. The, the overall star for champions is 87. I don't know who the champions are. You know, we'll see. Maybe, I don't know. Competitive pass. Now, this is where you start to realize the biggest news of the day. Once again, there is no weekend league. So Per, per reading, per looking, it looks like we're back to competitive pass. It looks like we're back to mutt champs and head to head. There is no leaderboard. There is no. To keep it fresh, there will be a competitive pass specific daily, weekly, and season long objectives. I mean, I didn't mind the pass. I didn't. It's like a battle pass or anything else. I didn't. I didn't really mind that. Uh, for us, I just like. The the good thing about weekend league was that one, it had you ranked yourself amongst your peers. Two, you ranked yourself amongst yourself about what's my best finish. If your best finish was fifteen wins, and next week you might want to try sixteen. If you never got twenty five and zero, and you've been winning twenty two, twenty four, maybe you can get twenty five and zero. 
You know, it's all about one comparing yourself to other people, but it's also about, you know, comparing yourself to yourself. Like, can I beat my best mark? Really? Uh, weekend league was different. It was a grind is what sweats that play the game. Love. It's what grinders love. Not even, you don't gotta be a super sweat, but if you like just grinding video games out, grinding head to head out weekend league was awesome, dude. It really was. So, I mean, for me, it's disappointing because I think we've all been asking for Weekend League back, the entire community, for about nine months now, at least, maybe more. Uh, and to not have it is like, are you listening? You know? But I've said this before. To go back on your old, like, essentially, they've made this decision that Weekend League will no longer be a thing. And to go back and say that was wrong after one year took a lot of pride. I mean, oh, what do you call it? It took a lot of, like humility essentially because these guys that come up with these ideas and what's good for the game have pride and they don't want to say they were wrong you know so for them this to, to bring back weekend league one year after they removed it would be completely admitting they were wrong and people don't like to do that especially people that have been successful in video games they don't want to admit they were wrong and one of the biggest things that i mean you can do man if you've made a mistake let your pride go man because you know weekend league was one of the best things man ever put out and we've been saying it all year all of us so Disappointing that there's no weekend league. <sighs> you know, exclusive player items. Much champ structure. Here we go. I didn't really read this, so we'll see if it changes a little bit. This year, much champs will not require a token. I mean, I held like a million tokens, so I didn't really even notice that was a big deal. I honestly it good because it was just a little annoying spending forty five seconds putting it in a set and playing. But anyway. It will stay on the same weekly cadence. Boo. All right. So for, because like people like I want to play all week. The thing that made weekendly good it was a, like a rush. You had to grind. You know. People say, "Well, I don't have time to grind." Then you're you're not a grinder. It's okay, dude. Now, in my opinion, I feel like we could have much champs that goes all week, and then a sweaty weekend league, and you could have both. I don't see why you can't have both. Uh, my point is like weekend league was. You know, for people that really wanted to grind Madden. If you didn't want to play 25 games in four and a half days, then did you really love it? Like, it was really something you wanted to do or you just wanted your rewards to build your team. You got to ask yourself that, you know, for real. So let me know what you guys think about Weekend League, the sweats, the play all week, everything like that. Like, for me, for the most part, it's like, you know, let's get these games in and out. Let's, let's bang them out. If you didn't want to grind Madden, then you didn't really want – weekend league you know and, you're not, and another thing to me is like if you weren't playing 25 games in four days are you playing 25 in six days is that extra two days making you want to finish all 25 games like are you like scheduling it out perfectly like are you able to play for three hours every night to schedule it perfectly uh you know i i just i just felt like I, now i get to play all week i can finally do it those guys weren't going to win anyway they're not going to play anyway it's not even about winning it's about playing champion sets this year in order to make champion sets more accessible I don't really know what champion sets are. We've changed some of the acquires. Any non B and D players given overall rather than acquiring heroes from that program. The first program this changed was headliners. Blah 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 blah. Alright, MCS. The Madden Championship series is running into Ultimate Team for the Madden twenty four season. Now is your chance to take your Mutt team. Okay. Competitors will be able to earn red zone mutt packs for each MCS tournament they were. This is like <clears throat> Half of y'all, all y'all going to enter just to get a red zone mutt pack, which is absolute trash. All right? You're going to get four golds or whatever it is. And now they're going to say, look, 15,000 people entered our tournament. It's popping. Which, I mean, juice the stats. This is literally juicing the stats right here. That's what this is. You know, juice the books. So, the MCS Twitch Drops program will bring a return. That's awesome. Viewers will have the opportunity to earn rewards and enhance their mutt teams just by watching MCS. More, okay, Juicing the books again. Giving away shit for you guys to watch or play. If you're ready to take your skills to the biggest stage. Okay, here it is right there. Boom, boom, MCS. That's it? Oh, no. We got more. We got more. I think. I guess not. That's it. So, at the end of the day, the end of the day is there is no weekend league. How much is my wallpaper? I think that's a massive dub. Look at the look at the stars, the lighthouse, the dusk, and the house. Bro, this is just the boardwalk, the grass. You got like a foreground, background, middle ground. You guys don't know, but anyway, no weekend league. Super bummer, dude. Absolutely super bummer. 
for all of us involved in Madden. Agree or disagree? <laughs>